Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be analyzing four cryptos which are XRP Ripple, Dogecoin, Pepe and Shiba Inu. We will see where they might move over next weeks. Please subscribe to our channel to receive our real-time trading signals, our analysis on cryptos, stocks, forex and commodities. Then you can join our growing community at patreon.com slash financial trading academy. Disclaimer, we can trade on our own, we not take responsibilities for your trading. Let's start with XRP against US dollar on a weekly basis. Overall, we've been pretty much clear on what we were expecting for the crypto market. We've been stating that since the end of April, we were inside a period of weakness. We expect a strong rise between June and July. Until then, we expect further weakness. Right now, Bitcoin is worth 26,600 US dollar. We expect a further movement downwards till uh, the many time mentioned area between 23 and 24 thousand US dollar. Let's analyze now XRP. As you can see here, uh, this is the weekly chart. Uh, if we analyze the second cycle that we see here at the bottom of the chart, the red curve has crossed above the Azure one. Yet uh, we expect uh, a horizontal movement till uh, the end of the 2023. In fact, uh, XRP Ripple tends to lag both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, we expect a rise, uh, as we have been saying before, between June and July, and in this case we can switch to the daily chart, uh, yet uh, uh, the movement, uh, the bull movement that we are expecting between uh, June and July, should not be strong enough in order to retest the two US dollar area. You expect movement uh, till uh, the 0 0.60 US dollar, uh, yet uh, the bull run, uh, the second half of the one year daily cycle, uh, which will be starting between June and July based on our algorithms and our studies, it will be very strong. So we expect uh, for some altcoins for the best performing ones and if you want to want if you want to know uh, our list you can subscribe to our channel we expect them to move uh, between uh, june and uh, november with a possible 10x uh, movement okay for the best ones so again for xrp ripple uh, uh, we expect uh, a movement up till 0 0.60 US dollar, uh, probably already in July. Uh, yet uh, we expect a very strong movement only at the beginning of 2024. In terms of daily cycle, uh, we've started a new one year cycle inside the 5.5 year weekly cycle as of November 2022. Okay, so we expect the closure of the current daily cycle in November 2023. That's why since April 2023, we were expecting a period of weakness, which actually is happening right now. In fact, if we analyze, if we switch to Pepe, uh, already 13 days ago, we have here the recording, uh, at the time Pepe was worth uh, 0 0.3, 80 okay uh, we wrote bull trap for pepe and uh, uh, if you will have the chance to review to visualize again the chart the video you will see that we were expecting a movement till 0 15 which actually is exactly where we are okay uh, now if we analyze the volume profile we expect further weakness uh, uh, till at least this area, 0 0.13, with possible uh, uh, movement downwards, uh, and that's our final target at 0 0.5, okay? So, 5.05, .05, okay? That's what we expect for Pepe. Uh, here we can see a perfect point of control, a POC. That's why once we saw such a huge increase in terms of volumes, we understood that those ones who bought pepper, the whales, uh, were just pumping the, the meme coin, and then that's why we were expecting a strong uh, 
movement downwards, which actually is happening. And actually, here we have a video testifying that we were right. We wrote bull trap for uh, for Pep. Okay. So again, uh, it's very important to specify that we are not moon guys. We are studying the market since more than twenty years. We we'll use mathematics, we we'll use physics, and we we'll use algorithms. And of course, that's the result also of our experience. So we will never say that some altcoin is going to move to the moon if, if actually it's not what we are really thinking. Okay. So XRP, Pepe. Uh, let's move on and let's analyze Dogecoin. For Dogecoin, as you can see here, as a chart which is very similar to XRP Ripple. Uh, differently from XRP, uh, Dogecoin seems to uh, be ready to actually to break downwards uh, uh, this area, okay, which is passing by at 0.06 US dollar, which is a very uh, strong support area. If Dogecoin will be breaking below this area, which is absolutely possible, then we will see Dogecoin moving practically to zero. Okay. Um, again, we expect Dogecoin uh, moving horizontally slightly uh, downwards over the next weeks. Uh, now, if we analyze the cyclicality, okay, for uh, uh, which actually will give us the prediction, the forecast for the next months. Uh, uh, we will see that uh, we see that Dogecoin is bottoming out, uh, yet uh, we do not see enough volumes to be buyers. Okay, so right now Dogecoin, technically speaking, is a very bad chart. Okay, we have to be extremely clear. We do not sell smoke, we try to say what the chart is telling us and what the chart is telling us that the Dogecoin looks to be in big troubles. In fact, when Dogecoin was spiking here at 0 0.16 US dollar, uh, we were uh, stating that that was just to be intended as a spike, a random movement, but uh, we were expecting Dogecoin to keep moving downwards, which actually happened. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, cyclicality, again, uh, Dogecoin is uh, with no doubt bottoming out. The problem is that uh, we believe that the bottom is not has not been hit yet. Okay, uh, and until we will uh, not see enough volumes, definitely we as a financial trading company we will not be buyers. Okay, we will need to see something like here. Okay, a big spike in uh, in volumes, obviously in on the weekly. On the weekly chart. So now, uh, if we uh, want to uh, dip in, okay, more on Dogecoin, we expect uh, uh, obviously, like for the entire crypto market, a rise between June and July, uh, keeping moving till September, October, and then uh, again a strong period of weakness uh, uh, during November and partially December. Okay. Uh, in general, we expect again. Uh, a second year of bull run inside the 5.5 years weekly cycle where we have four years of bull cycle 1.5 years of downwards movement that's the average cyclicality for bitcoin okay which is obviously the leader of the market the, the king of the market so obviously we need to understand the what is the cycle, the average cyclicality for Bitcoin in order to set up then the strategies for the other altcoins. So we expect movement, uh, horizontal movement. We do not expect a real, a real uh, spike like we have seen here uh, uh, over the next months, uh, something uh, outstanding probably. We will need to see a few more, more, few more months in order to see some huge spike like in, we have seen here. Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu uh, very similar chart uh, uh, like Dogecoin, even in this case we are strongly bearish. Uh, we need to see um, much more uh, in terms of volumes, uh, we do not see enough volumes, uh, which means we see uh, Shiba Inu keeping moving downwards till uh, uh, let's say this area around zero. Uh, 607 okay 
So between the among the four cryptocurrencies, definitely XRP seems to be the one which will be outperforming over the next weeks. Thank you guys.